Good morning, everybody, from sunny and beautiful central Portugal. Just look at these blue skies, the shining sun, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's a little bit chilly, but I've got the wood burner on. Mr. Burns is performing at optimal capacity. And I have the most exciting news to share with you guys today. Any guesses as to what this key is for? Well, let's go on a walk. Very short walk. And all will be revealed. I'm sure that some of you folks out there who've been watching my channel since October can probably guess the news. It's been a long time coming. We're hoping to get everything wrapped up in October, but there were some delays and everything was all completed on Thursday last week. I'm very happy to report that one of my closest friends, Sinead, has finally sealed the deal on her land. That's under a two minute walk from my place. The properties actually border up against each other and I really couldn't be happier. So that's my exciting news for you guys. But before we take a look in the barn, let's travel back in time to the moment where I messaged Sinead on WhatsApp and said, the guy next to me is selling his land. She was keen, I wasn't expecting that. And things moved very quickly from there. I got some friends over to come take a look at it, let me know their honest opinion. And they came, they saw, and they liked it. It's all happening, it all happened fast until it didn't. There was a little bit of a hitch, but finally everything is done and I'm gonna explain the process of her buying land in this video. And then she comes to visit. She came here in October, had a look at the land, loved it, bought it, but due to a couple of little hiccups, it was only officially signed for last week. So this video is gonna walk you through that whole process and then we'll get up to present day where I'll explain maybe a little bit more details on what's involved in buying land in Portugal, uh, what her process was like. But first, before we go in there, let's go back in time. So I'm here with my very good friends, Billy and Rogerio, who own a lovely accommodation business called Quinta de Barraquinha nearby, which you should stay at if you're in the area. And basically my friend is interested in a piece of land right next to mine. And there's a possibility that she might buy it without seeing it. And so rather than trusting my judgment, because of course I'm biased and want her to live there, uh, I'm getting some other eyeballs on the place uh, to see what they think of it and to see if the price is right and all that stuff. So, so yeah, so we're gonna go take a look right now. It's literally right at the very bottom of my land. It connects just over there in the corner and then kind of goes down this way. So let's go take a look. Yeah, it's got a little ruin that's basically the same size as mine, I would guess. Maybe slightly smaller, but it looks about the same size. But it's got beautiful stones. And yeah, you can tell that it's solid construction. Well, I don't know if I can tell that or not, but <laughs> it seems that way. Based on my uh, very limited experience of stonework in Portugal, it looks good to me. So, so there's that building. Two tires, three. Yep. There's a pear tree there. Yep, this side. And then you see where the, the concrete stuff is? It's a bit treacherous, so I wouldn't recommend walking down there necessarily. And so he's got some irrigation set up down here. So this terrace here, it's all his. So that little terrace there, and then it comes up, I think, back to where the foresty bit is. So we just, oh yeah, we come down this way. Our consensus is that the other side is a bit, a bit exposed, but this side in here feels a little bit more cozy. Uh, and sort of tucked away. And there's a little ruin over there. It's a shame about that giant concrete electricity pylon. But yeah, it's a beautiful little section of land here and it connects to my place just there. Yeah, it's cute. So yeah, that's it. That is the land. So, thoughts? Very positive. Yeah, positive? yeah. Seems like a good deal. Yeah. Good yeah. Deal. 
beautiful piece of land, so I would say she mm. should go for it. And as a bonus, you get Good to also be neighbours with Another these Irish two. Another <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So the consensus is that... Bye, 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 bye. So my friends have seen the land uh, and given it the thumbs up. I think it would be wonderful to have a really good friend as a neighbor. Um, and yeah, it it just puts a big smile on my face to know that this is a possibility. So uh, I'll do everything in my power for it to happen. And hopefully, uh, you know, she remains keen and this goes ahead because I think it'd be really cool. Step one, uh, approval from my friends, Billy and Rogerio. So that's really good. And it confirms my suspicions that the price is good and the land is a nice little plot. So let's see what happens. I will keep you in the loop. Second impressions, uh, after you've already put the deposit down, we then looked inside the building for the first time. It's always good to commit yourself to something that you're not sure about. That's my life advice. Worry about it later? Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Are, um, you, are you less sure now? <laughs> no, it's bigger because you didn't show me all of the land yesterday. Ah. Um, it's much, much bigger. Hmm? So much space for tents. So much space. So much space. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Ideas are coming to you? Slowly. I have some ideas. Okay. I have some ideas. Now that you've seen it, you've got some ideas. My straw bale palace. Where, huh? where am I going to put that on the shirt? I kind of feel... I think over that way. I think I like, tucked, I like it, tucked in over there a little bit, bit, yeah. Yeah, and I'm definitely going to grow more fruit trees. Yeah. When I sort out my irrigation system. So, are you excited nice to have some cheese home. in your face? So excited to have cheese in my face. And this is the new favorite coffee shop here in Castello Branco. It's going to be my second home. And cheers to agreeing to buy land and making the arrangements with the lawyer, but not yet buying the land. But Friday, hopefully. Friday, signing. Exactly. Okay. Easiest purchase. Easiest purchase. Okay, so the process hasn't been quite as straightforward as we were expecting, but still pretty straightforward. <laughs> Um, Sinead is off to sign like this to give power of attorney <laughs> rather than signing for the land. We're hoping she'll be able to sign for the land, but there's been a glitch. So she'll, she'll give power of attorney to the lawyer, she'll fly back to West Africa, and then the lawyer will look after everything once the paperwork is in order. But I think there's nothing to worry about. Nothing there's to worry. nothing to worry about. So she's off now to the lawyer 
And then, I guess that's it for her. And then the lawyer will look after everything. Up to your uncle, finance your rent. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she'll be back later, and we're gonna have a chat about the whole process. So, bye. Doodles. Drive well. Hello. Sinead is back, and she's brought mom. So how'd you go? Oh, uh, I was absolutely saturated by the time I got there. Amazing. It was pissing out of heavens. Um, it was very easy. I just went in, signed some documents that were in Portuguese and English. And now she can do everything for you. Here. She has, she's the you. She has all of my money and she has all of the power. Amazing. So, success? Success! Quest question mark? Success! Success, question mark. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Sinead from the very beginning. So is that when Kirsty phoned you and sent her messages and said, the property below is up for, up for sale. Basically, yeah. Get a friend <laughs> yeah. who has land. So we're just taking a stroll down to Sinead's land. Go here. My because land. congratulations, she successfully did the notary thing. So as I mentioned before, now the lawyer has all of the power and all of the money. And whenever the paperwork is in order, the lawyer can look after everything. So it's all, it's all go. But how did this come to be? How did this come to be? Ooh, we're going through small olives. <laughs> so I've known Sinead for over 10 years. And you're moving into 15. Oh, going into 15. Jesus, where does the time go? Where does the time go? And she volunteered with me at Kila Yoga Farm probably four years ago. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. So she's been here. She was here for four months that time. I was here only for three. So she knows many of the same people that I know, knows the area. And I was trying my hardest to lure her at the time into maybe buying a property with me or whatever. And so it's always been kind of a thing. And I just thought, I just thought it would never happen. You know, I just thought it would never happen. But she always said it would. And it has. I'm a commitment folk. Commitment folk. So I talk about things, but until the moment is right, I just talk about it. And the moment is right when you're having kind of a bad day and you get an email from your friend in Portugal and she says, hey, the land next to me is for sale. And then the moment is right. And maybe this land. We're maybe this for, land. We're looking to expand the empire now. Well, let's, let's get your piece of the empire first. <laughs> so I sent an email to her after getting a message from my neighbor that his land was for sale. Um, we have kind of a neighborhood WhatsApp group. So he messaged the group and I said, oh, maybe my friend on a whim sent it to her. She's like, I'll take it, basically. Pretty much. And then I said, okay, cool. Maybe you should come look at it. She traveled in from Monrovia, Liberia. And this is a little house. Future Irish pub. Was that Future it? Future Irish pub. Yes, yeah, so I think it's, looks pretty. I'm going to import some old Irish men. A uh, bit of Irish music, a bit because, of crack, I'll just kill. I think that might be human trafficking. <laughs> but you do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, this is the future Irish pub. Yeah, the pub for the valley. Or also possibly storage. We'll see. Yeah. And then what was the process? Basically, I put you in touch with the, the guy that owns the land and a lawyer that I used. Mm -hmm. And then that's it, really. You met the lawyer on Friday last week, was it? Yeah, so in advance of coming here, she organized the NIF, which is your social security number. And she had all the paperwork. She was in communication with the landowner. The land in the deeds were like kind of guessed. The size was guessed by I previously. And the land is actually larger than what it is in the deed. So now he has to go back and get that rectified in the documentation. Hence the reason why I've got a Slow again. power of attorney rather than signing today, which is what I'd hoped for. Yeah. So hoping to sign today, but basically all she had to do was pay the lawyer. Do you remember the fees? So it was land register was 300. That's because it was two parcels of land. So when you're buying parcels of land together, it's 250 for your first piece and then 50 for all of the ones that follow. But you have to buy them at the same time from the same owner. Um, so I was buying two parcels of the land off this owner, so it's 300 for land register. It was 676 for um, the solicitor's fees. That included her being a power of attorney and organizing the NIF. 
and the taxes there's two different types of taxes and that total comes to 2300 and the land cost 30000 mm. for 7500 7, 7, square meters yes so three quarters of a hectare mm -hmm. an unknown amount of acres <laughs> <laughs> 1.8 acres. 1.8 acres? I think so. Would not equate. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh, you died for oh, bitch. No, no, maybe it is, actually, because <laughs> mine's only half an acre. Oh, no, you could be right. I'm sorry I doubted I'm right. you. I'm right. Usually that's the case. Yeah. Exciting times. Exciting times ahead. I think you'll be seeing a lot of Sinead. She does, uh... <laughs> 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 she did what she do. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know where I was going with that. I have no idea. Sometimes you just She talk. does amazing things, but she does amazing things. <laughs> Sometimes you just talk and hope the word comes to you. Sometimes it doesn't happen. That was an example of that. So, yep, that's it kind of in a nutshell, I suppose. Very very easy. It's really easy. However, it also requires, the easiness probably requires having a friend that finds the land, finds the lawyer. Um, yeah, and then de definitely I would never buy a piece of land in an area that I didn't know. But I know the area, I know the community, and that's the most important thing to me is community. So it was an easy decision at the end of the day. My commitment phobia from before was I just never know where I want to live. Um, so yeah, the, it was at the right time came at the right time right time cool all right so anything else to say that's it that's it welcome to portugal <laughs> welcome to portugal to yourself <laughs> like i'm supposed to say that welcome to portugal welcome. to me <laughs> welcome to portugal to you just locking my door <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that <laughs> never do that again oh there it is <laughs> This might be a problem. <laughs> I won't be wearing my heels when I'm going out the door. It's a nation of my sized people. It is. Not a nation of your sized people. That's true. What are we doing? Just, <laughs> look, just being awkward. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome to Portugal. <laughs> 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 what, a, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs>
pub. We'll see. We'll see. For now, wood store and dusty wasteland. But I see a lot of potential for this in the future. Okay, let's head off up the road and I'll chat to you a little bit more about the process and getting this place and a couple of the hiccups along the way. My land is just a short walk across this little bit here. The, the land connects to sort of on the corner of my land. Under two minute walk, absolutely perfect. But we'll head back the long way so I can check out the state of the road. The part that I'm walking on so far is fine. Um, that's because it's been dry for most of January. I have a feeling that in the winter, as with all of these types of roads, it gets a bit um, hairy. So if I'm gonna get a firewood order in and make sure a big truck can make it down here, I'll probably wanna do that before I see any rain on the horizon. But it actually looks like February is gonna be pretty dry as well. So I have a bit of time to get the money together and make a plan. So these two fields on either side are owned by some farmers. And I think there's plenty of space to get a truck down here for a wood delivery though. And so far, the road looks okay. And so as far as the process of buying the land goes, Sinead mentioned earlier that the process for her was really easy. And that's because she has me. <laughs> she has a friend who lives in the area who just knows uh, the process and has the contacts. It's very common for um, sales of land to be done privately. And in this case, I saw um, the previous owner posted in a WhatsApp group. So that was never advertised publicly. And if you don't have a friend living in the area, that's a bit tricky to get access to. But one thing you could do is, if you have decided on the area you want to live, try to visit, try to do volunteer work, work exchanges, hang around the place, maybe rent a place, and try to kind of ingrain yourself into the community so that you then have access to those kind of secret land deals and stuff like that. You know, it's inevitable that you'll end up making friends if you hang around for long enough. And I think checking out the community uh, first is always a good idea as well. I actually just realized that the part of the road that I wanted to check out, I totally forgot to do. So let's go back and take a look. Okay. Her place is just so ridiculously close to my place. It's wonderful, but I expect that there will be a lot more wine consumed than there is now, but that's okay. So this is the part of the road that I wasn't sure of, but I think it's fine. So moving to a community, moving into it, at least visiting regularly, making friends, that's probably the best way to get a good deal on land and also just to make sure you actually like the community you're moving into. That really only works if you've narrowed down an actual location that you like. A lot of people aren't totally set on the location and just sort of wait for the property. Um, you know, but if you have decided on a specific area, do try to visit and try to get to know people before you buy land. Um, and then you'll have a network of people to sort of help you when you move, which is exactly what I had. So that was Sinead's experience. She, she's been here before. She knows me very well. And she was able to scope out the situation and use me for connections and to help her with various parts along the way. So the purchase process was incredibly, incredibly easy, except for one thing. So this might be way too much detail, but there's this new digital land borders registration system that they're transferring over to. And everyone that owns land or wants to sell land has to register with this new thing. It's called Boopy. And the previous owner went to do that, but when he did, he sort of just dragged markers around a Google map, and it's not that accurate. And when he did it, the new boopy borders that he drew didn't match up with the old borders on the caderneta, which is the paperwork for the land. And then there was a whole big process trying to get those to match up. So everything would have gone completely smoothly had this little mistake not been made with the boopy borders, which is a completely easy mistake to make as well. I don't know what was involved in sorting all that out, but it did take several months. So that was the only thing. So instead of signing 
back when she visited in October. She just signed last week, and I'm very, very happy. Sinead will be back in May to visit. She's going to be here at the same time as my parents again, so that's really cool. And I'm definitely going to pin her down and try to figure out what her hopes and dreams are, some of her plans, uh, from the very, very beginning. She lives in West Africa. She has a contract to finish on her job, so she won't be moving here anytime soon. But she's got the land, and she's going to be visiting from time to time. And yeah, let's just see how things progress. So that's basically the story of Sinead and her land. And there's a lot more to come on that. But for the moment, I'm going to end the video there. As always, thanks for watching. Please do leave me any comments, questions, whatever you have down below. Share it around, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.